Welcome to today's video where we're taking a look at the Sivga S01 True Wireless Open Earphones. Sivga offered to send these out for review and I said yes for several reasons. They have a good reputation with the likes of Tech Radar, Forbes and Trusted Reviews. They seemed fairly unique. And finally, my earbuds keep falling out when I'm on my bike rides. These seem like a decent solution. They are available on Amazon for $69.99 in the UK at the time of recording. I did find one negative review it was the only negative review i could find and we will address this later in the video they come well packaged and well presented in this gift type sleeve box we're greeted with a multilingual quick start guide the clamshell and a very small usb cable this is a usb type c it's absolutely fine for charging it's nice to see some extra effort went into the packaging and the presentation Okay, they look pretty cool. They feel like good quality. This shell definitely feels, I wouldn't say premium. It's made from plastic, but it definitely feels quite good. They're about 92 grams in weight. We'll get to the specs shortly. USB charger port on the back. These are supposed to have magnetic wireless charging, so we'll check that out in a moment. The lid is also magnetic so it won't just swing open accidentally and the earphones themselves are also magnetically held in place which is a feature I really like. Another thing I really like is the flexible ear hooks. They swing left and right to fit all ear shapes. They do give you that extra comfort. When I'm wearing them, I often forget that they're on. They are really comfortable. Each of the earphones have a microphone on the top of the device. This has a little silver mesh across the top. On the inside, we've got the two golden charging pins. These are magnetic, so they hold the buds in place. Then we've got the curvature design and the driver on the bottom. We've also got the left and right ear markings and then the flexible ear loop. I think they have a good ergonomic design overall. Let's take a look at the specs then and then we'll go and do some testing. Okay, so the Bluetooth version is 5.3. The speaker size is 16.2 millimeters, impedance is 18 ohms, sensitivity is 117 decibels, frequency range is 20 hertz up to 20,000 hertz, the transmission range is 10 meters, the weight is 92 grams, the battery capacity of the earphone is 60 milliamp hours, the battery capacity of the charging case is 600 milliamp hours, charging time is around 2 hours, standby time around 300 hours, and playback time is 9 hours at 50% volume. I tested these out in several environments, from sitting at my PC to riding my bike and walking my dog. Let's go and do a sound test now then where I tried them out, using them outside in the rain so this is an audio quality test for the Sivga S01 true open earphones I'm currently walking my dog these are pretty comfortable I'm kind of forgetting that I'm wearing them it's raining at the moment but it's fine because they're rated at an IPX5 waterproof ratings I haven't run into any issues no connectivity issues or anything like that no problems at all they've been really solid They've also got a multi-function button on each of the headphones to play, pause, answer and end calls, etc. Which is really convenient. Calls are especially good. You can hear your caller's voice really clearly and they can hear you really clearly. You can hear all the sounds and dangers and things around you. So if you live in a busy environment, they are particularly good for gym exercises, things like that, working outside. Some of the major reasons I like these headphones is because when I'm out and about on my bike, when I'm going up and down curbs and stuff, I've often had my earbuds fall out. These don't budge, they stay exactly where you put them. Even if you're, for example, working on a car and you're lying down on a little ramp and you have to keep getting up and down on your hands and knees underneath a vehicle or something like that, these are perfect because they're not going to fall, they're going to stay exactly where you put them. They're also pretty good for the work environment if you work outside. That way you can still answer your calls and take business calls and things like that. Say, for example, if you're a landscaper or a gardener and you want to be answering the call while you're on a job, then these would be suitable for that kind of thing as well. They are probably a little nuanced, I would say. Maybe for a particular audience, they're not going to be for everybody. And if you do prefer a bass and all the noises around you to be cut out, then you might be looking to get some over-the-head 
headphones or some earbuds but otherwise yeah these are pretty good i'm really i'm, I'm really impressed with them and i've got around five hours 15 minutes on full volume if you have it around 50 60 percent you'll get around eight to nine hours out of it so this is the audio through the headphones i think that's full up yeah almost full you can hear all the sounds all the cars coming past which is pretty good for safety while you're out and about crossing the road and stuff can i interrupt the video to plead with you guys look at this 99.6 percent of you guys are still unsubscribed this is maybe the worst stat that i've ever seen guys do me a huge favor let's get this to two percent or something it would really make my day and thanks to all you awesome guys who are already subscribed we're rolling up on a thousand subscribers now so any more support towards that is massively appreciated okay back to the video now then let's address this negative review that i found on amazon we'll need to translate this to english from japanese okay we have some broken english here but basically the customer saying that the manual says that the main unit can be turned on and off by opening and closing the lid but it doesn't work then goes on to say for this reason even if you put them in the case when you stop listening with the same feeling as other earphones like i said broken english it's easy to stay connected to your smartphone the whole time but the battery runs out the response of the buttons on the main unit is poor and it's easy to malfunction when pressing the number of times overall it's poorly made also in order to turn off the power it's necessary to hold down both the left and right buttons for five seconds which is very troublesome and inconvenient the sound is pretty good but i feel like it's only slightly better than the ola dance okay so let's address these one by one then first things first they don't work when you open and close the lid okay so now my audio is coming through my bluetooth speaker via my pc these are also connected to my PC. When I open this case, they should automatically connect. And as you can hear, the music is coming through the earbuds. And then when I close the lid, it should come straight back to my Bluetooth speaker. So they do work when you open and close the lid. As for the battery running out, I haven't had any problems whatsoever with the battery running out. This docking station here is still on 96% and I haven't charged this in two days. I've used them every day. I am using them on a daily basis. Okay, our next thing was the button, the main button to use is poor, okay. Well, this button, it's a single press to answer a call, a double press to put a call on hold, a long press to end call, etc. It actually works quite well. The build quality overall, I wouldn't say they're poorly made at all. I would say that they are not quite the premium standard that you would come to expect from Sivgo with their other headphones, but I don't think they're meant to be. I don't think they're aimed towards the premium end of consumers. I think they're aimed at the middle range consumers. And then to turn the power off, you need to hold the button down for five seconds on the left and the right, which is very troublesome and inconvenient. It's kind of right. To turn them on, you do need to press them each individually to turn them on. But to turn them off, you just hold the one button for five seconds and it does turn them both off. I've been using these every day for the last week. You don't need to turn them on and off. The whole point of these is that they're convenient and they're ready to go. When I come home, I normally place my phone on the magnetic charger if my phone needs charging. If my phone doesn't need charging, I'll place these down on the magnetic charger and they're always ready to go. I think that's really good. That's convenience. That's what I want. Overall, I have to disagree with the negative review. That wasn't my experience with these earphones. I actually really like them. 
As we've discussed throughout this video, I think they are well presented, they're well made for a mid-tier earphone, they have some cool features like the magnetic charging, wired charging if you would prefer, they're also auto-seeking so they automatically connect to the last paired device, they have a waterproof rating with an IPX5, they're lightweight and comfortable. I have to say, overall, I'm pleased with the ergonomic design. I'm really pleased with how convenient they are. I literally just close the lid and grab them. And I'm also pleased with the audio quality. I can honestly say we can recommend these at this price range. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful or informative at all, or you enjoy supporting small creators like me, please consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel with your notifications on. That way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching the video. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. My name's Craig. This is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.